Welcome to the fifth segment of SBXA The Basics. In this segment, you will learn about SBXA's report functionality. We will cover query reports, report writer reports, and how to paint your own reports from scratch. So far in this series, you have seen a lot of work with screens like this one, which are a useful way of working with and entering data into your system. While screens allow you to work with and enter data, reports are a great way to get data out of the system and to analyze it. This is a report, and like the screen we just looked at, it is built upon the CARS dictionary. The first and simplest type of report in SBXA is built from a query report definition. The query report tool allows you to create reports displaying values from records, usually formatted one line per record. These reports are useful for displaying information in columns. The tool is a front end to the retrieval language supported by the operating environment. You can place a report in a menu or have a process invoke it. Query reports are useful for producing relatively simple lists or sorted lists of records from files. To create more complex reports, you can use report writer definitions, and we will get to those later in this segment. This is an example of a quick, simple query report in SBXA. It lists the current book price of each car we have in our inventory, sorted by manufacturer, and totals the value of all vehicles of each make. We can look at the query report definition to see how that happens. Enter slash to access the process ID prompt, and type QRD. There are many fields on the QRD screen that give you all kinds of options for configuring your report. We won't go into all of these options in this demo. You can learn all about both query report definitions and report writer definitions in the SBXA Developer's Guide. The dict file name field is important. You can only build a QRD upon a file that already exists. In the dict file name field, you must enter the name of the dictionary file where the field definitions referenced in the report are stored. In this case, cars. The report is sorted by manufacturer and model, and this particular report definition really gets its utility from what we have in the fields to print field. By appending a B to manufacturer, we cause the report to break on manufacturer, and by appending a T to book price, we cause the report to total on book price. So let's see what that looks like. We can run the report from the definition by clicking F2 Save and then selecting None Execute Now. Just like a screen definition, which we saw in earlier segments of this series, your query report definition is encapsulated in a process. When I am prompted for manufacturer, I will simply press Enter, which causes the report to run on all manufacturers. Now we see the utility of the break and the total. The cars in this report are separated by manufacturer. BMW here, and Ferrari here, and so on. And for each BMW, the book price is totaled and then displayed, as it is for each Ferrari, etc. This allows us to quickly see and compare the total inventory value of our fleet by manufacturer. We have $73,000 worth of BMWs and $103,000 worth of Ferraris, and so on. So far, we have looked at this report as output to screen, because that is how it is defined. But we have options. I can output the report directly to Microsoft Excel, for instance. or I can have the report ask me for an output choice at runtime. We could configure this report in many ways, and we have far more options if we leave the world of query report definitions and instead use report writer definitions. To use the report writer tool, you must use SB Client, which is included in your installation of SBXA, instead of Rich Client. In SB Client, I can enter RD at the Process ID prompt to access the Report Writer tool. There are many example report definitions in the SB Demo account, including this one, which is similar to the QRD report definition we looked at in Rich Client. 
but as report writer is more powerful, we could see some extra things happening in this definition. You'll notice the H, C, D, B, G, and F along the left column. Those are for header, column, detail, break, grand total, and footer. So you can add a header or footer to your report, among other things. And digging deeper, we can take a look at what's happening on our first detail line. If I place my cursor under the registration number field and press F5, I can see the definition for this field on the report. Of particular interest here is this field, HTML process. With Report Writer, we can build HTML hyperlinks into our reports. In this instance, the HTML process that will be invoked is the output process that encapsulates the cars screen. Let's take a look. When I run the HTML demo report in Rich Client, I can see it doing the things I expected, totaling the book price of each car by manufacturer. And unlike the simpler query report, I have HTML hyperlinks here. When I click on this car's registration number, it calls the car details screen, encapsulated in the output process we saw referenced in the report writer definition. And I have all the current details about this particular car including the rental branch at which it is currently located. So, to this point, we have looked at demo reports and their corresponding definitions. Now let's make our own. You can paint a report in much the same way we designed screens with the screen designer in previous segments of this series. In SB Client, access the report writer. Enter the name of a dictionary where you have the definitions and data from which you want to build a report. Give your report a name. Now, what do you want to do? In the context of my fictitious car rental business, imagine that I want to be able to have a report that quickly shows me the inventory of cars I have at each of my five locations. Which cars are at the Manchester branch, and which ones do I have in London, etc. First, I am going to enable HTML, because I have an idea for later. I can choose colors for the report by clicking F9 and then making some selections about how I want data, background, headings, etc. to be displayed. Now, in the Sort Fields field, I need to enter the fields by which I want to sort data on this report. For me, that's location because I want to break up my car's inventory by location. Now, I can take a shortcut by clicking F5 for Generate Default. From here, the Report Writer tool is going to make things really easy. All I need to do is list all of the fields that I want to appear on my report. These are fields that already exist in my cars file. Press F2 Accept, and there it is. Report Writer, with just a bit of prompting from me, has painted a report complete with column headings. The Report Painter has given me a default heading, but I can customize that. Now, I want to add a hyperlink, so that when I view my report, I can click on Location, and the hyperlink will call the Branch Details screen, which will give me all of the information about that location. I can do this by placing my cursor under the Location field and pressing F5. In the HTML Process field, I will add the name of the process that encapsulates the branch details screen, and I will append it with the common variable at data. You can read about common variables in the SBXA documentation set. Essentially, this will allow SBXA to not only call the branch details screen when I click the hyperlink, but the screen will also automatically be populated with the information specific to the location I clicked on in the report. Click F2 to save, and we get a warning that we can ignore for now. I will save and run my report as you have seen me do before. And note that while I could only create this report writer definition in SB Client, I can run the report in the XUI client. It works as we intended. I can see quickly which vehicles are in Chester, which are in London, etc. And if I click on the hyperlink for the location, it calls the Branch Details screen. There is so much more you can do with Report Writer. For instance, your HTML could call a website. 
but there's just no time in this demo. Read the query report definition and report writer definition documentation in the SBXA Developer's Guide, available at docs.rocketsoftware.com under the Rocket U2 directory.